Okay, so in this discussion, we are going to tackle about um, experiments or experimental research, which we are going to um, discuss the definition of experimental research, the the criteria in which we could use experimental research in our um, study, and also the steps and the factors that needed to be considered in planning and in conducting experimental research. So first we have the definition. So experimental research is um, commonly used in science such as sociology, psychology, physics, chemistry, and uh, biology and medicine. Okay. So experimental research is commonly used. So it is commonly used in the the following criteria. Okay, so we just write here criteria criteria for a criteria of use. Okay, so we will conduct experimental research if the study there is or there is a time um, priority priority in a casual effect okay casual effect so first is the criteria of use is that there is a time priority so time is at essence for example if you are going to uh, to see if if which of the following uh, metals for example um uh, iron, aluminum, copper, which of the following metals can withstand uh, rusting? But I believe that answer that would be aluminum, but let's just say that you are going to uh, have that um, have that uh, study. So if, for example, if the study needs to have uh, three months, so there is a time priority for you to see the effect of uh, such phenomenon. So you need to have experimental research. The other criteria is there is let's just write this one consistency. Consistency in a casual relationship. Okay. So there is a consistency in a casual relationship. So for example, if uh, the effect of rusting on a metal or, or, or of the three metals that we used uh, earlier as an example uh, copper aluminum and iron will lead for the said metal to have uh, to become uh, softer or it will affect its um, its tensile strength then that is what's called consistency of cast relationship so if that is one of the criteria or one of the factors of your study so it is uh, it is mandatory or it is required for you to have the study as an experimental research. Next, we have the magnitude of correlation is great. So what does it mean? So there is really exists a relationship between the time constraints, for example, the surroundings of a structure with regards to the to the uh, foundation with, with regards to the tensile strength of the three uh, metals that you will be using as a, a structure okay or as a framing structure of your building so that is where you will use an experimental research but if you are just going to have a type of study in which you are only going to to see uh, which of the three metals are most likely most likely to be used by the structural engineers then it will fall to survey research in which you will just as uh, have your conclusion as 58 percent of the respondents uses uh, iron uh, 12 percent uses copper the rest aluminum so that is the, the difference between experimental research and um, survey research
Okay, so what are the steps in conducting experimental research? So steps in conducting experimental research. Okay, so first we have first one is to identify identify the research problem so you need to identify the research from problem okay so it is important to identify the research problem because in experimental research you have the so-called variables the dependent and the dependent variables which is uh, which you can get from the research problem so that's why it is important for you to identify the research problem Next, we have the constructing, constructing the experiment. Okay, so the second one is to construct the experiment or in research itself, it is called the um, research design. So what is the design of your research? How you will conduct the experiment? So that is constructing the experiment so if you if you are able to get the uh, the dependent and dependent variable from your research problem so out from that you could construct now your uh, research design or your experiment whether you will have a, a experiment that only needs uh, one sampling two sampling or you could you will have a a controlled um controlled sample and and control sample so it's depend on the research problem so all of that will be discussed much further when you go to your subject uh, research study but in the context of knowing what are the steps in conducting experimental research so this is how you will do it the the, the way in constructing experimental research or conducting experimental research so in the constructing the experiment so at that point also you will know uh, what are the what are the what are the usage or what are the uh, data analysis or the statistical analysis that you are going to use because your experiment and the data analysis technique or the data analysis method that you are going to use must must in agreement with each other because you will not be able to interpret properly the data or the data that you have if your data analysis or the method that you are using for data analysis is not in agreement with the experiment for example you are going to find the effect of of sleeping late to the to the um what's called to the alertness of a person so that is a correlation co correlation um experiment so your data analysis must be also the one that will pro that that is in line with correlation not uh, to to not in other way around to show the regression or whatsoever um types of data analysis or methods of data analysis so that is how you will consider the uh, construction or the your research design or constructing the experiment. Next is conducting the pilot study. So conducting the pilot study is having the dry run. So most likely you will have if there is an experimental, so you will have your your initial prototype in which you are going to first Ver verify if your um, if your methods are usable or not so that is how you will do the pilot study so we have conducting the experiment so this is the highlight of the steps so you will now conduct your experiment you will gather your data and you will uh, normalize or you will 
um, treat your data in such a way that it could be easily be re represented by a graph or a table. So that is part of conducting the experiment. So part of that is data gathering and data presentation. Then you will go now to um, performing data analysis. Okay, so performing data analysis, so you will now apply the data analysis that you uh, incorporated in your, uh, on your, in the stage of the research design, you will now perform it. And out from that, you will have the next step in which you draw your conclusions. Let's just have this one as drawing conclusions and recommendations. Okay, so that is the last part. Drawing conclusions and recommendations. So if you notice, the most important part of this type of experiments is the data analysis. So if there is no data analysis, you cannot draw conclusions or recommendations. And your experiment, the, the research design of your, or during the construction of the experiment itself, it will not, uh, it will not, be as uh, what you call that it it will not be clear or it it will not be um the data that will that you will be uh, that you that you gathered out from the experiment will not be usable if you do not know what is your data analysis technique so that, that that's why it's very important especially for engineers to know the different methods to know how to use to compute and to apply that different engineering data analysis techniques and methods okay so that will be all for this uh, discussion so this is a very short discussion because the this topic and the topic about survey research is uh, is is not the main focus of this uh, subject but only to orient you on what are the uh, applications of data analysis in the context of research study so these topics will be much uh, expounded when you reach your subject research study later on on your senior years okay so thank you for uh, watching this video and i hope you learned something out from this and as always enjoy studying